welcome back friend to the channel in this video i'll be talking to you about surfactants surfactants are what we use to make foaming product cleansing products you know conditioning products and you know body wash body shampoo so they are all made using surfactants surfactants mainly are cleaning agents it can be non-ionic it can be ionic surfactant it does different classification but in this video i will show you I will show you, I mean, not demonstrate, but to show you the best surfactants that I use to make my cleansing product. As a natural skincare formulator, often time, you know, you get um, order from client. I take custom order from client, mainly uh, people that have probably different skin condition and they want, they want it rectified and they want the best product. So I uh, make the best product for them. That's exactly my area of specialization. So the surfactant that I use so far are the best in the industry and they are mostly natural. The number one surfactant that I use is cocoa glucoside. Cocoa glucoside is a non-ionic surfactant. I got this from New Direction Aromatics. Cocoa glucoside is a non-ionic uh, non surfactant that can be used. You know, you can be using as a as a as a cleaning agent, conditioning agent. It can build a, a viscosity also. It can be used for shampoo and liquid cleaners. Uh, they are derived, okay, from raw, you know, coconuts and palm kernel oil with glucose and it is uh, biodegradable and GMO free, no parabens, no phytylate. So it's very, it's a very, you know, good surfactant that can be used in conjunction with other surfactants. Surfactants are used together. For instance, now if you use cocoa glucoside, you can use, uh, you can use cocoa betaine with cocoa glucoside, okay, at the appropriate uh, proportion to make your cleanser, okay. That's that's our surfactant. They appeared together to make a powerful foaming product that will clean very well. Um, that will not strip the skin off. Okay, that's why these beautiful natural surfactants are very good. So, cocoa glucoside is my number one. It's uh, very compatible for all skin type. It's very very gentle uh, for skin. It can be used also to make a product. It's a uh, good good good. Uh, you can use it for body wash, you know, shampoo. You can use it for baby wash also. You can also use it uh, for, you know, to make face cleanser. That's why, you know, it's one of the superb, you know, natural surfactants out there. So that's my number one. Then my second surfactant that I'll be discussing right now, it's uh, cocoa betaine. Cocoa betaine, also called cocamido propyl betaine. The, uh, the popular name is called Amphol Sol C G. Okay, it's a very it's a very good natural surfactant. Also, it's coconut based. Anytime you see cocoa, coca, co, it's coconut. So that's that's how you know them. <laughs> so cocoa betaine we don't want to go all the way to cocoa camido propyl it's, it takes too long so we call it cocoa betaine and people generally call it amphisol cg so very good uh, mild amphoteric surfactant also it was the right uh, derived from coconut oil it's soluble in water it, um, the ph it works well at the ph between five and um, six um it's uh, it has a faint odor okay and it's very, very also it works. And I mean, because it's an amphoteric uh, surfactant, you can use it with cationic surfactant, non ionic surfactant, and ionic. So you can use it with different surfactants. So this surfactant can be paired with a lot of different surfactants because it's very powerful. It's a very good foam booster. Okay. We can easily pair with other surfactants to make uh, soap, body shampoo, and so on and so forth. So that's why. It's the father of all surfactants. It's if you go and search, it's usually used for together with most surfactants. So that's about it. It's um, it can also help you to build viscosity in your skincare product. It has uh, excellent anti you know static property, very good foaming property. Also, is a primary surfactant and has a good uh, cleaning property you know it can be used from four percent to forty percent depending on the foaming uh, property that you want uh, you can use it to make end soap 
baby soap yes air conditioner cream rinses body washes you can use it for bubble bath also you can use it for uh, to make cleansing lotion and uh, cleansing cream so it's a very very good 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 subtax effect and it's just powerful if you want to learn how to be making cleansers, this is exactly uh, a good surfactant to think about. Another surfactant that I have here is Capri, Capri Glucoside. Uh, it's a non-ionic natural solubilizing uh, surfactant. This solubilizing surfactant is good in that you can also use it to solubilize your essential oil. I will make other videos uh, in, the, in my coming weeks or how you can use this to solubilize your essential oil. So it's also a good solubilizer. You can use it to, you know, to... It's made from fatty acid and glucose and it's derived from vegetables. So very, very good uh, natural surfactant that's ECOSAT approved. Uh, I mean, compliant with ECOSAT standard. Okay, you can use it to sol solubilize uh, fragrances also. Okay, for fragrance oil, and uh, essential oil can be you can be solubilized with this one so it's also an excellent solubilizer so pop so pop uh surfactant also so my next surfactant that i'll be going with right now is the foaming apple surfactant so mean apple surfactant it's good good the inky name is co sodium cocaine apple amino acid it is a very mild surfactant that you know can be used from one to 25 percent it gives excellent foaming uh you know properties to anything you use to make usually this foaming sick uh, foaming apple i mean can be used to make a uh, face cleanser that's what they're good at okay because you you want you, the face product that you make you want it to be as good as possible you want it to get rid of uh, excess oil on the face because the face is a first contact right so you want the face to be very very different unique more clean akin free that's why we use f um, foaming apple to make uh, foaming face cleanser very very good when you want to make a foaming product for the face then another uh, product I will be talking about now is foaming sick. Foaming sick is uh, almost close to the family of uh, foaming apple, but it has its own uh, uniqueness. It's um, okay, as you can see, the color is uh, it's the first that I'm showing you right now is the first uh, team brownish amber brown color. It's good also for making facial products for hair product it can also be used uh, to make um, body product also but it's not that common because it's a foaming stick we may usually make use it to make uh, ear care you know and facial products uh, it's hydrolyzed peel sick fiber and it's uh, good for its uh, excellent you know lathering abilities a lot a lot uh, of uh, formulators do use this to make the facial products very very good also Whew, it's a long day for me it's been a long day today alone i did like over how many videos oh my <laughs> so another surfactant that i want to talk about right now is the q glucoside the q glucoside is a mild non-ionic uh, surfactant okay this surfactant is ideal for making foaming cleansing formulas such as you know facial cleansers you can also use it to make body washes also uh, for sample is ecocytes uh, ecocyte certified uh, and is obtained from you know renewable plant resources so it's very very good and bi biodegradable so it's good for the environment so if you love the environment you should look into this surfactant it's not irritating um it's um it's also uh, actually certified by NP, natural product association things that you can use the key glucoside to make include you know liquid soaps or makeup remover you can use it to make shower gels body washes fish hair cleanser uh, bubble bath because it, it bubbles a lot and uh, general body shampoo so that's what you use the key glucoside for it's also a very strong strong surfactant as you can see i'm almost done with it because i use it a lot to make uh, um my shampoos right see where it is right now yeah it's a very good then another surfactant that i'll talk to you about in my last surfactant is uh, plantipum plantipum surfactant as you can see i just got it 
it's a very good surfactant. and I'm so happy when I saw it at uh, Vonage uh, Soap and Candle here in Canada. I've been looking for this surfactant for so long, so I was happy when I came about it. It's a natural surfactant blade that can be used in a variety of cleansing formulation. You know, it's tear-free, extremely mild especially, and it's sulfate-free. Um, you know, it provides very good, you know, cleansing uh, cleansing properties it has good you know foaming ability and you know this surfactant will make your hair and skin you know, look smooth and beautiful and it can you can use it also on your baby in your baby product you can use it to formulate also body washes face wash shampoo and you know plant upon is good for one thing it's known you know for for making sensitive skin products. So if you have, if you are making a sensitive skin, uh, if you're making a shampoo, face wash, or any body wash for sensitive skin, you want to consider plantable. Plantable is a bit very, very scarce because it's very, it's more ideal in baby care products. Yeah, right? So you want to have it here. You really have to have it. Um, if you are making sensitive skin, you know, skincare formulas, you need to include this. You don't need to include too many uh, surfactant because it's a uh, it's combination of surfactant. It actually has the kill glucoside that I talked to you about, and it has cocoa glucoside. You know, you can, it has caprylate, caprylate, glyceryl oleate. It has uh, polyglyceryl ten. So uh, it's a ready-made surfactant, so to say. So want to make facial products just ready-made. You don't want to mix any other surfactant together. This is a mix of surfactants. And this is where I'm stopping tonight. So, so far, so good. I've talked to you about surfactant, and some of you don't know what surfactant is. That's okay. Um, on this channel, I know a lot of you want me to be making skincare products live. As you all know, it takes a lot to acquire knowledge, right? It takes a lot to acquire knowledge. I can't just be showing you the professional way to make skincare products on my YouTube channel for free. <coughs> I'm sorry about all this. I can't because these are professional standard skincare products that sell at good prices. So I plan on launching my Patreon page. On my Patreon page, I will be making this professional product for you. And uh, it's going to be very, very fun, interesting. It's not free. It may not be 100% cheap. It may not be the Patreon page that you pay $5 or $10 for. I'm sorry, but it's just that I want to. I want you to know on this channel that I mean business, and I know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not. This is not a DIY thing. If you know skincare formulation, you know everything I show you right now. It's not DIY. DIY is just for people that I just want to. They just. They're just still playing around the corner. I started with DIY several years ago before I actually advanced, and I went to school. I went to live physical school. Even though my daughter went to Formula Botanical, she came back learning from me. <laughs> I went to life physical. I went to New York. I studied in Toronto. And um, trust me, and I have a friend also who, is, uh, who has a skincare formulation school in, in Quebec. I'm here in Canada, Ontario. So several, for several months, I was in Quebec, you know, learning and learning about formulating skincare products. I can formulate any skincare product, mention it. Wake me up now, tell me to formulate a baby product. I can formulate it. So I know extensively, you know, one of these days I'm going to show you my ingredients from I have ingredients making a lot of different skincare products. So, oh, that's true because it's my hobby, it's something I love, it's my profession. Um, I was, before I became a, skin, a skincare scientist, I was a microbiologist. So I knew chemistry so well. Uh, that's why all these are just like joke, joke to me. Um, one day somebody called me Victoria. My name is Victoria Dewoy, if you don't know me. I'm the founder of Natural Skincare School. Um, I used to take a lot of students in my school and true to my word, I like to help my students. So I actually stopped admission this year. I had so much students to attend to. And my promise to them is to help them, you know, to learn very well, to become great in what they want to do. Uh, so when, we, when I reached the 500 mark, I stopped um, collecting application. I actually changed the whole thing the whole team about the website I, I locked up a registration because i still have to attend to this 500 students in order to because i'm a woman of my word so so if you don't know more about me this is me this is me um 
I plan to start doing conference, but that will come on later. But to help upcoming and you know and growing uh, skincare from later, I will launch my Patreon page shortly, and this will have professional standard, you know, formulation videos that. I will formulate, show you how to make professional, even that you will not see on this channel, a professional lotion, shampoo, face wash, hand wash, antibacterial wash, all natural, if you want synthetic, everything. I also, to tell you the truth, some people call me, I don't know, I don't, I don't know why they, I also formulate great and stable uh, color cosmetic, color cosmetic, I like face, um, powder, pressed powder, um, uh, blush, and so on and so forth. I formulate them all. This is my life. So just to let you know a bit about me. So when I launch my uh, Patreon page, I will let you know so as to be uh, the first to know when I, and those videos that I will be uploading on my Patreon page, they are professional standard. I will not be uploading them on YouTube. So if you want to learn more, stay tuned for that. I promise, I promise. I know a lot of you have been looking forward to see me demonstrate and that's exactly how I will demonstrate to you. Uh, in that video, you may see me if it's necessary or I'll let you concentrate on what I'm teaching you. So whatever is appropriate for each video is what I do. I will do. Thank you so much. Hey, even before you go, don't just watch this video, right? Don't just watch the eyes. You see all I showed you right now. I'll show you again. These are the surfactant, natural surfactant, best natural surfactant to make a to make lotion okay these are the these are the these are the geniuses even the big companies are using right now these are what you are seeing live on camera here um see i do stock up i do use up uh, i buy products okay when i want to make them and when i'm done with them they're gone so that i'll be able to buy new but i just bought uh this new one that you are seeing here uh except the the key glucose uh the key glucoside surfactant so thank you so much for watching and uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload my new video and also to be to stay tuned for my hobby announcement also some of you do not know that I make I actually make a skin brightening products like AHA product I, I know how to make some of you ask me do I formulate um, skin whitening I hate to hear whitening I will address this in another video. I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't, you don't want to whiten your skin. You, you, you are better off brightening your skin than whitening it. But I'll talk about that. Now. And also, if you do not know that I make soap, oh my God, I make the best soap in the planet. The best soap. As a matter of fact, you know, my own sister that owns um, a soap making, professional soap making company here in Canada, taught me while I was little so I knew so much about soap making oh god I can make the best soap in the world um so that's it that's it that's it that's about it thank you so much for watching don't forget again click that subscribe button the notification icon to be notified when I upload my next video have a great weekend and everyone